Today we're making dumb people smart, so let me show you what's inside of a Lithium LiFo 4 battery. But first I want to clear some things up about the differences between this type of battery and this type of battery. And in this case, size definitely matters. For example, this small lithium ion battery has a much higher density than this battery, which is why it is larger. Usually we find these on drills or cell phones. And this type of battery is also commonly used in electric vehicles, which is usually cobalt, manganese, or nickel inside of the core of the cell here. But in this battery, we have large cells, which you're gonna see in a minute here, is a lithium LiFo 4 battery, commonly found in golf carts, home power banks, and RVs. Now with a battery like this, a LiFo 4 battery, you're looking at upwards of 10,000 charging cycles. So they say around 10 years for these types of batteries. So you might be asking yourself, why use different materials to make this type of battery than this type of battery? And the real answer is in safety. LiFo 4 is much safer than the normal lithium ion batteries that you hear about on the news. I saw a story recently about drone batteries. Those would be lithium ion. Also EVs generally use lithium ion not lithium iron phosphate or LiFo4. It's a different composition. These cells generally only smoke if something was to happen, but thermal runaway in these batteries, even when charging, is much less likely. And even if they do thermal runaway, they're not gonna explode like a general lithium ion battery. The reason that is, is because lithium ion has a much higher energy density, meaning it can fit much more energy in a small cell where these LiFo4 batteries, they take more cells for the same amount of energy. Now that we've cleared that up, let's get to what's under the lid of this battery. Now this may look a little bit crazy to you, but I'm going to explain each part here. Now let's start off by talking about where the energy is stored, and that is in this particular battery, in these 24 cells that are underneath everything. The next part is to know how they are connected. But in order to make a complete circuit here, each cell is connected with a little metal piece called a bus bar. And how it works is it starts at positive, then goes to negative in the first two cells, then it jumps from positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, and repeats this all the way around. This allows us to store all of the energy down inside of those cells. But this is where the magic happens, right here. This is called a BMS or a battery management system. Now what's really cool is we can connect our phone to this and find out everything that's going on within this battery. This one specifically is made by a company called JK BMS, but there are other brands out there that make these. And this is basically the brain of the whole entire operation here. Now we also have an on and off switch here, which allows us to connect to this and turns the whole battery off if we're not using it. These are the giant wires that go into the battery management system. And you'll notice on this one that it says P minus, and that's post negative. And on this side, it says B minus, which is battery negative. Assuming you know nothing about electrical wiring, the only reason we have the battery management system hooked up to the negative side of things is because we only need to break one side of the connection to turn things on and off. You'll notice over here that we have the big positive wire just going straight to the post. The other reason we have this pigtail here is to split up the heat coming off of the battery management system and the post here. Most of these small wires coming off of the battery management system are going to the positive connections. And the reason for that is, is that we are able to check the health of each one of these cells on the app. Now there is one small black wire here going to the negative just for a backup to check the circuit. The other two sets of black wires here are going out to check the temperature of the battery. Some other parts in here are this piece of plexiglass that keep the battery management system off the top of the cells so we don't have any weird shorts or anything going on up here. And we also have some plastic pieces that are keeping the cells tight in the center of the battery. These prevent the cells from moving around, which can cause loose connections within the battery system. This specifically is a 72 volt battery with 105 amp hours. And that's it. That's what's inside of a lithium LiFo4 battery. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and to get even smarter, see more of my videos.